Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my review on And I Darken by Kirsten White. Yo, this book was so good. Okay, so this is my first, the first book that I picked out of my Ravenclaw recommended reads jar. I still haven't found a really good way to say that, but this jar right here, which I'm going to pick a random book out of, you know, every now and then. But it's supposed to be books that are recommended to, um, to students of House Ravenclaw, which I am one. And, um... It's the first book in the Conqueror Saga. The second book should have come out already. I think it came out already or either it comes out on the 27th. But I can't remember if it was in June or July. But anyway, this book is supposed to be a retelling of Vlad the Impaler, which I didn't even know who that was. Anyway, um, before I read this book. So it's supposed to be a retelling about him but in a gender reversal um, kind of way. So if I'm not mistaken, I think I gave this book five stars. I want to say I gave this book five stars. I may have given it four. I think I gave it four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave it four stars. Okay, so we're going to go with that. I gave it four stars, four out of five stars. And I really did enjoy this book, and it took me way longer than it, I, it, was, it should have taken because at first I started out reading it as an audio book, but then it was taking too long, so then I just checked it out from the library. And even then, it took kind of long for me to read because I was reading other stuff along with it. It wasn't just that. So I would stop reading that and I start reading other stuff. But I finally finished it. And it was so good. Even though I only get four stars. It was amazing. So basically, for me, this book was very character driven for me. And I really did enjoy that because I enjoyed the freaking characters. The characters were were great and they it, they was crazy as hell kind of way okay like there was just so much going on within the individual characters like first of all just the family itself is in fucking insane Vlad which is supposed to be Lada's and Radu's father he is just abusive like he is the meaning of abusive he is in in the dictionary next to the word abuse his picture should come up like he was just so abusive like mentally physically emotionally abusive and i was just like okay and so you know when you living with somebody like that for basically you know most of your life you know that's gonna affect you so he was he, he just like didn't even care that he was abusive it's like it never even occurred to him like okay maybe this is wrong to treat them this way no he didn't even give a shit lada herself is a like a psychopath she's our main character we follow her pretty much through most of the book her and Roger was basically about them, them two and you know their struggles but Lada was just to me is she has psychopathic tendencies as a child who lets a child play with a knife like a real knife not a toy knife a real knife hold it up to your neck and it, she's crazy to me she was just just and, and she herself took some of Vlad's abusiveness which I, which the gender reversal kind of goes towards her because she's supposed to be Vlad the Impaler for you know as a female but so you know I guess I can I can get that but I can understand why she had to be so rough at first I just figured oh she's just being a bitch but you know after getting to after getting to know her and actually you know get her struggle about why she felt the way she was feeling why she felt like she had to you know act a certain type of way I get her and I understand it and that was understandable so I was like okay cool that's why a lot of acts like that you know i thought you know i understand i get it um vasalisa is lada's mother and radu's mother and she to me is just very suicidal and depressed like reading you can obviously tell that she is suicidal and depressed she like doesn't even want she's like removed from the world like she's living in her own little, little world she just wants to go goods now because of growing up in that kind of environment his father his mother his sister being how they were he's just damaged goods now to me like it's just living in that kind of situation has really fucked up his mind i feel like he's uh, he's traumatized he was traumatized as a child and in some ways i feel like even when he was an adult 
he's still trying to, you know, get through that. So that's what I feel. So it's like the whole family is messed up. But this drama, you get this drama, like, all within, like, the first four chapters of the book. And that what I think was so amazing because it's like it really grabbed you in through the characters. And you got to know the characters in, like, the first four chapters of the book. Like, all of, like, your main characters, pretty much. Like, most, the majority of your main characters. Because, you know, some of you don't meet till a all down the line. But at the beginning, it's like... It's a very good way to be introduced to them. And I was just thrilled that it went on that way. Because I was like, okay, damn, this is a lot of drama going on. And like I said, you know, Lada wasn't my favorite character at first. Because I figured, you know, she was just being a, you know, a bitch. So it's like she wasn't really my favorite person in the world. Until I got to understand why she was being that way. You know, and it was, a, I, I, I actually really appreciated the gender reversal. Lada being more tough and unforgiving, less sensitive like a boy. And, you know, Rod being more you know in touch with his sensitive side and more delicate like a flower like a girl would be and I really en I, I appreciated the fact that Lara was a tomboy because I, I identify with that because my, I myself am a toy boy I mean a toy boy <laughs> I myself am a tomboy so I appreciated that factor because I could relate now later on when we met Mehmet I just think his mother was a savage like his mom was a real savage y'all like she would do whatever she meant she was gonna do whatever she was gonna do whatever it, it took to make sure her son was set up straight and I was like I was just like thrown back by her like she was a boss y'all when I say she was savage when his mother is bad and bougie okay she should have been in that video she's like really bad and bougie y'all I just, I was like, I was like, yes, because I was clapping by her person, and then she did, you know, the big thing she did, and I was like, I don't think I'm with that. I mean, I see her reason, but I, I'm not with that. But she, she meant she was going to do whatever it took for her child to be set up right, for him to be safe in the right spot. That right there, I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, she just really took, you know, the saying, a woman's got to do what a woman's got to do to a new level. Well, I just want to add in one little thing right quick, because I don't think, I don't know if it's a spoiler, but I, I guess if I was listening to this, I would get take it as a spoiler. I mean, I'm not really putting out any information, but if you didn't know that this went on in the book, I'm just going to put up the little thing, it's going to put up the, the spoiler thing down here, and when it goes off, then, you know, we good, you know, but until then, mute it or fast forward it until this is off, but anyway, I had no idea about the gay scene that was going on that shot the hell out of me like i was not expecting that i mean i was like okay ron was in touch with his you know his little sensitive side or whatever but okay okay i wasn't expecting that but it was done really well it knocked me out of my off of my feet because i it's not something i was expecting to happen so i was like really shocked that it happened so i was like oh my damn okay whoa all right at first it took me off guard i had to like wait a minute i was like okay is this really happening right now but it was done in a really good way it wasn't done in a bad way it was executed great so i think that's why i really really liked it yeah what you know about it like that was the first time honestly this is the first time i read a book with a gay scene in it like i mean stone me for saying oh you're not what happened to why are you not in the diverse movement I get that, but I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to just pick up a book because, oh, they have two gay characters in it, you know? If the plot doesn't sound interesting to me, I'm not going to read it. And y'all know I'm not one for the lovey-dovey books, and that's what most of, you know, the LGBTQ um, books are. It's like really, it's, it's really about falling in love, and I'm not really into, you know, the mushy books like that. The only bad thing I have to say about this book, and it's why I took a star off and gave it four instead of five stars, was because at some points in the book, I felt like it was going, I felt like the book was moving really slow. I felt like um, it, I, I just wanted to fast forward and get to the next climax of the book. It was a lot of up and down, up and down, up and down in the book to points where we're at the top of the climax and then boom, we back down. And it's like, you go like a chapter or two and it's like, okay, I don't really care about this. And then you go right back up to him. It's like, yes, all the action, this is great. And then you go right back down. So it's like a lot of times I really just wanted to skip through the pages and get to the next big action spot in the book. So I guess that was a downside for me because I, I didn't like the cooling off theory that I had because I, I, I just wanted the action to keep coming non-stop I wanted to just keep it going keep being engaged and I kind of lost it but other than that the book was really great I gave it four out of five stars I really enjoyed it it was a library book so that's why I don't have it I did bring it back or whatever already because I, 
I just had to get rid of these tweets. But all in all, it's really good. I really want to read the second book. I rise. I don't think the library has it though, since it is a new book, which I really do think it came out June twenty, June June twenty something. So I doubt my library has it yet because it's I, it's brand new. But they might. It might shock me. But um, I can't wait to read it. If you guys have read this book. Um, you know, comment in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Um, I'm going to link my review down in the description box below. So you guys can check that out too. That I did on Goodreads and that I did on um, on my blog. Just in case I might have missed something that I wrote but didn't say. So you guys can go check it out. Yes. And um, that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. So basically... Thank you.